guys, what's up? This is Red Black Productions, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to create a star field in Adobe After Effects CS6. Now, to do this tutorial, you're going to need Trap Code Particular. It is a paid product, so if you don't have that product, this tutorial will not be applicable to you. Now, let's get started. The first thing you're going to have to do is open up Adobe After Effects CS6, as we have here. Now, I've already got a completed project of this um, open here on the screen. As you can see, it's got another effect here by Video Copilot, Lens Flare, and it creates a nice star field. You'll see there's a lot of detail in the stars, there's some size variation, and there's a little bit of color variation as well, looking up close. Now we're going to create this from scratch, so let's see how we do it. First off, go Composition, New Composition, and create a new composition. So I'm going to call this star field. And it's going to be 1920 by 180 with a background color of black. So hit OK. And now we've got a new composition. Now the first thing I want to do is create a background layer. So to do this, go Layer, New, Solid. And we're going to call it Background. There we go. And it's 1920 by 180 with a black background. So the next thing I want to do is create the star field. To do this, simply go Effect. Trap Code and Trap Code Particular. Now what this will do is it will create an emission sort of uh, effect where the further out in time we go we'll see that there's particles flying out from the center at a particular velocity and with a particular number of particles coming out. Also they only go out to a particular range. What we want to do is we want to take advantage of this effect to create a star field. So the first thing we want to do is we want to pre-run it so that the particles go all the way to the end. In order to do this, click on Emitter and then click on Emission Extras and choose Pre-run. And we want to bring Pre-run all the way to 100. Now as you can see, there's still a lot of work to be done. So the next thing we want to do is increase the number of particles on the field here. To do this, simply choose Particles Per Second and increase it to 40,000 or whatever number you feel comfortable with for the amount of stars you want on the field. As you can see, this has made it completely white now, but this will look a lot better as we go along. The next thing we want is to not make everything come from the center. To do this, we're going to choose point and we're going to turn it into box. Okay, so now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to increase the velocity to make these particles more spaced out. In order to do this, simply choose velocity and increase it very, very much. Maybe to about 8,000 or so. That should do it. But even as we do this, we'll see that the particles are still spaced around the center. And we want to give it, make it look more like a star field. So there's a few other things we can do as well. We can also increase the emitter sizes. And by changing these to about 750 each, we'll see that this spaces out the particles and it makes it look a lot more natural as we do it. So now you'll see that the particles, they look a lot more natural. But there's still something that looks a little bit strange to it. So what we can do is we can go to Particle and we can actually change the properties of the particles themselves. We may, for example, want to change the size of the particles. I'm going to change them to about maybe 0.6, 0.6. And you'll see now what's happened is that the particles look a lot more fine what we can also do is we can add a bit of glow to the particles by doing something such as glow sphere. And what this does is it gives them a little bit of a glow. Zooming in, you can see that uh, you can see the particles, they glow now. So that makes them look a lot more like stars. And we're beginning to get a lot more of a natural kind of star field look here. So what you'll realize is that as we have our star field here, it actually seems to move by itself still as if it's exploding outwards as we go across the video. And we don't really want this. We want to be able to affect the star field ourselves. We want to be able to move it to our own accord. So how do we stop this? To stop this, we simply go to physics and we choose physics time factor. And what this does is as we set it to zero, you'll realize that it doesn't move at all and there's no stars in the field. So to get this right, we choose physics time factor one and then we set a keyframe. Once this keyframe has been set, we set it we go over here and we set it to zero. And what this does is it now stops it from moving. But you'll realize that if we go back to here, it still moves one frame. So to get rid of this, we simply move the entire video back one frame. 
And now for the rest of the video, it's not moving unless if we add a camera or if we want it to move. So there's a few other things we can do. For example, we can change the position of the actual stars themselves in the star field. And you'll see that we can zoom in and out by using position Z. This will change the Z position of the entire star field. And you'll see that you can adjust exactly where you want it. You can also change the number of stars if you think that it's too many. By putting it to 20,000 you can halve it or you can put it to whatever number you like. Okay, so now that we've got the star field here, how do we animate it? There's a, a few ways we can do this and we're going to use the camera to animate our star field. The advantage of the camera is that it's pretty easy to use for animation. Now what you got to do is you got to go to Layer, New, Camera. And we can pretty much keep the camera settings as they are and go hit OK. Now we have our camera. Now there's a few things you can do to animate with a camera. What I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and drag downwards. This zooms out of the star field. Also by right clicking and dragging upwards, this zooms into the star field. So we can play around with this and see what we can create. What we can do is we can go to our camera settings, go to transform, put down a keyframe on the position and the point of interest, and then move down to wherever you want to be for your animation and zoom in. Now it won't show it on my computer because it seems to lag a bit whenever I do it. But if I go back and play it, you'll see now that it's zooming through the star field due to the keyframes that we got here. It seems to lag a bit as well. Now, what else can we do with this? We can also add a star into the foreground to make it look like as if we're in our solar system or in some foreign solar system. So how do we do this? Well, for starters, let's minimize this and let's create a new layer. We're going to create an adjustment layer. So we go layer, new, adjustment layer. Once we have up this adjustment layer, I'm going to use Video Copilot's optical flares. But this step can actually be done just by using some PNG flares you can find off the internet. The reason why I'm using Video Copilot optical flares is that there's a lot more options to choose from when using the flares and they can be animated. So now that we have our optical flare up, I'm going to go options and I'm going to choose light and I'm going to choose the evening sun because it's the most realistic looking sun out of any of these flares that I've seen. So I'm going to hit OK and you'll see that this happens. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to create, need to create another solid background layer for the star to be projected onto as you'll see here. And then by screening this we now have our star. We can also screen this layer and then it'll project it onto the star field. So as you can see now, we got the star field and the star itself. So this was a pretty basic video teaching you how to create a star field in After Effects using a trap code. Thanks for watching everyone, like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.